Hello everybody, this is Marco Ibanez. I'm a boudoir photographer based in Washington DC and today I want to share with you um, an interview I did with Dr. Ann Ridley. Uh, one of the things I love the most about being a boudoir photographer is that I have the opportunity to meet a lot of very very interesting people and Dr. Ann Ridley is one of them. She is a therapist and she is an expert in human sexuality and so when we worked together a few weeks ago in California I just couldn't resist uh, the opportunity to ask her thoughts on boudoir so please listen to this interview it's a short interview but it's uh, full of very meaningful insights into uh, the relationship between boudoir and sexuality and why is it important to be comfortable in your own skin and how is this related to the relationship you have with your partner and how is this, this all related to happiness so <clears throat> very interesting interview please um, share with anybody you think will benefit from this information and also let me know what you what you think in the comments below I'm also going to leave a link to Dr. Anne's website in case you want to contact her directly and so that's that thank you very much and enjoy thank you bye bye Um, I'm Dr. Ann Ridley, the modern Aphrodite. I'm a clinical sexologist, loveologist, psychotherapist. Um, I have been working with couples and individuals, helping them find and maintain deeper levels of intimacy for 18 years. And I have an erotic pleasure boutique that is um, geared mostly towards women and sell all kinds of lingerie and um, other erotic pleasures. And I have been doing boudoir personally on and off, I would say, for 10 years and have had such a magical experience um, through my process. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's really important for women to be able to connect with their erotic imagination in a way that isn't about anyone else. Mm -hmm. Meaning they're not activated by another person, but that they are able to actually tap into their erotic nature on their own. And I think that boudoir is a really important way of doing that. It's important for us to know ourselves and our erotic nature in a way that seems familiar so that when we are in erotic situations with other people mm -hmm. that the veil between our time alone and our intimate time with someone else is very thin meaning we are able to show up in our authentic nature with someone else in the presence of someone else our lover our partner whatever that may be and it's really important that we can do that on our own so that it feels like second nature so when we are alone yeah. meaning just with ourselves uh -huh. whether it's through self pleasure or whether it's through trying on lingerie to yeah. see what looks nice on us or what we feel most comfortable in yeah. those would be alone kind of experiences okay, okay? Yeah. so meaning it's it's very important that we know our body it's okay. important that we feel confident in our body it's important that we know where our erogenous zones are and what turns us on and what makes us feel sexy. And it's important to do that by yourself. So that then when you're with your partner, it's really natural. It's who you really are. And the more intimate you can show up in your authentic self with your partner, the more ecstatic the pleasure you will experience. Uh, and I feel like boudoir is one of the ways um, that helps us sort of see ourselves as erotic beings. Mm -hmm. And often it's one thing to feel pleasure in our bodies. It's another thing to have an image that we can connect to mm -hmm. so that we see ourselves through a different lens, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It helps with our imagination piece. It helps our partner with our imagining, with their, you know, how they see yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, most of us, you know, have other roles. We are moms. We are, mm -hmm. we are working women. We are doing all sorts of other things yeah. that maybe isn't so sexy. 
right. and we are you know in real relationships right. and we're having real dynamics with mm -hmm. our partners and so for them to be able to see us also in a way in which we find sexy uh, I really yeah, okay. believe that the more intimately we know ourselves and the more comfortable we are in our skin or in in playing into our intimacy with another partner, the deeper the pleasure we're going to experience. When people are feeling um, insecure about their body, when they are feeling insecure with their partner, when they are feeling awkward because they're not used to being in sexy poses, which sometimes happens in boudoir, right? It is you have to coach them into certain positions, but once those become more familiar, then that translates into intimate experience with other people. Mm -hmm. The comfort level, the ease at which um, they portray themselves in a seductive manner, if you will, mm -hmm. it doesn't then seem strange because they're practicing it in boudoir. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I did boudoir first after uh, my second child and it was a goal of mine to feel really confident and secure in my body having given all the changes that I went through giving birth and breastfeeding and having my body change mm -hmm. and to embrace the new way in which I was showing up in my beautiful gifted body mm -hmm. <laughs> after giving birth mm -hmm. and it was important for me to see myself in a way that was soft and feminine mm -hmm. and and sexy mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. to remember that part of me mm -hmm. um, because as we have children that just doesn't go away it just changes form until you're comfortable with the way that it is now mm -hmm. and it was really important to me to see myself in a beautiful lit bedroom you know being seductive with who I was in that time of my life not who I was when I was 18 mm -hmm. and I hear a lot of that I should have taken pictures when I when my body looked like this or like mm -hmm. this which really misses the point. The point is mm -hmm. to accept yourself in all phases and to see yourself as an erotic being throughout a wide range of time in your life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think that that's why I keep going back. I just, I just had a birthday and I'm in my mid 40s now. And of course my body is maturing and changing. So is my erotic imagination. Mm -hmm. The kinds of play that I like having in my love life are different now than they were the last time that I did boudoir. So I am communicating that different. I'm communicating it different in the way in which my body moves, in the way in which I choose what I want to wear during the shoot mm -hmm. is different, um, and maybe how I want to share it, you know, at this point in my mm -hmm. life, and who I want to share it with has probably changed. So I think that it's important to continue reevaluating where am I at this point in my life? How can I authentically communicate my sensual sexuality? And um, then have that reframed through an image back to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So I was an eating disorder specialist um, before I did intimacy work. And I did a lot of um, support with women around feeling into their bodies and really looking at health and wellness and overall happiness in the body that they were in. And with a really good photographer, such as yourself, you are going to capture the light and the essence of the, sh the physical form. You're going to capture the energy of your subject. And so it doesn't have to be about the ideal body type, whatever you think that is, or not having any cellulite or no wrinkles. That's not what it's about. Because the way in which you will capture it will be so beautifully lit mm -hmm. from the inside. Mm -hmm. And you'll feel something emotionally. 
And so it is not like a changing room where you're trying on a bikini and you don't like your body. It's not that experience. Mm -hmm. It's the experience of seeing yourself in a way in which you don't normally do. Because there's no other place where you will see yourself the way that you will having done boudoir with a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't it just doesn't exist. We can't take pictures like that. Right, no. And yeah. And it's real, but it's such a beautiful gift to give to yourself, really. Mm -hmm. And then to share with your partner or a loved one to keep so that you're reminded on days that you don't feel that great, you know, which is true, um, of how you felt then or what that makes you feel like looking at the pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's beautiful.